Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Last episode, we built this thing. Our kinda top fuel dragster. The thing was super, super cool. I mean, it, it, it kinda worked, but it kinda didn't. Today, though, I was thinking, why don't we go from something super, super fast to something super, super expensive? This is a Ferrari 250LM. One of the world's most expensive cars. It is 500,000 credits in the game, dollars in the game. The condition of it is garbage. Apparently, it's driven to the moon and back by doing 200,000 miles. Yo, it's got a lot of horsepower. 667 horsepower at 9,000 RPM. That's a big boy engine there. That's what we're gonna be working on today, boys. Anyways, let's start up work on this Ferrari. There is a lot of stuff to do. All right, well, let's start it off the way we always do, doing things in the wrong order. Welders, we gotta make this Ferrari back up to top. Okay, why is my game lagging so badly? Let's get this thing back up to top four and we will make it look as legit as possible and get as close to 100% on this build. So this thing's rocking a V12 in the game and we've built a bunch of V12s so we can just go rip one out of one of our other cars, which is fantastic. We're gonna need to rebuild the suspension, rebuild the frame. Obviously we're gonna need new wheels and tires and everything. And then like I was saying, we'll see how expensive we can make one of the world's most expensive cars. So let's get this engine out of here. We're gonna need to take everything off. All right, let's get these out. Axles, goodbye gearbox for a v12 we're ripping it out we're getting a brand new one in actually i think we can take the same engine that we use to power the school bus yeah the game's really not used to the whole mid-engine car thing with the engine crane i'm just saying all right pull out engine is gone so before i go and swap any engine parts on i think i almost want to disassemble this and take everything off all right we're looking good though the rear of this car is like stripped out very very nicely which is awesome let's get that fuel tank out of there oh wait what this thing is two fuel tanks i must say this has been a really really quick like tear down tear down is the quickest part the rebuilds the long one i mean we'll see how long it takes do we even have an interior oh we'll get rid of the steering wheel we're gonna do this legit boys steering wheel goodbye i think that is literally every part of this ferrari ripped out now we need to get a v12 swapped into this thing so you might be wondering why i've got another school bus that's because i didn't want to build a v12 engine for my ferrari so i just went to the auto sal salon bought a brand new school bus with a perfectly brand new v12 engine the engine has been pulled from our school bus thank you so much we are going to send you right off to the parking lot you've been very helpful i can walk over to this car install the brand new 100% condition V12. That looks damn good in there. All right. So let's get that swapped in. Get the gearbox in and we'll be well on our way. Uh, let's get these headlights swapped in. Actually, let's get let's get all the body panels swapped in so it, it looks good. So we need two headlights. We're going to need two doors, windows, windshield, all that. Uh, engine cover, so like a trunk, I guess it's called, and a, and a rear bumper as well. All right. Let's start getting things onto the car. I can just probably buy just like one of everything. Oh, there's rear fenders and stuff. All right, I gotta watch out for what I have and what I don't have on this car. Yo, look at that with matte black. Yo, that looks cool. Rear bumper, thank you, thank you. Yo, the matte black actually looks really cool. Um, where were those front fenders I bought? Rear left fender. Where does a rear left fender go? Oh, uh oh. Yeah, those really aren't fenders. I'm just gonna say game and before I forget all I had on the in, uh, like the front interior here was an intercooler So I don't think we need to use the performance thing. We're not really trying to make something super fast I'm trying to make something restored front intercooler installed engine in body panels fitted. I think we're already Well on our way global body. How is the global body condition? 87% our frame is perfect now our global parts condition much much better our interior Still kind of on the weak side. We're gonna need four corners of suspension. The whole thing's got to be redone. Uh, I guess we'll start it off with the front. So where do they want me to start with this? They want me to start with front near steering knuckle B and an inner, inner tie rod. Okay, we're gonna bang this out pretty quick. Like we're gonna make this thing go from 
absolute trash junkyard find to a beautiful, beautiful car. I thought I bought like a thousand of these last time too. Okay, there we go. 20 of them. Perfect. We won't need to buy them again today. This is going to be the most therapeutic of therapeutic builds that we've done. All right, so for this, we're gonna need double wishbone shock absorber, front suspension, front shock absorber. Where's my suspension putter on her thingy, my Uh, I know it's in this general area, I think. Oh wait, nope, nope, aha, found it. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, we need some brakes and stuff, okay. Ventilated brakes, I know how to do brakes. Brakes are easy. We need ventilated brake discs, yep. Yeah, I think we're gonna need four of them. Brake pads, we're gonna need some of them. Brake calipers, four of them. Brake servo. I didn't need four of them. That is this corner finished up. Fantastic. That is a clean looking setup. I mean, ignore the fact that it just clips into like the, the tub of the car. Anyways, this side should be super, super easy. We've already got everything. At least we should. We should be able to just bang this out. Yeah, look at this. Here we go. That other side took us, I don't even know how long. Oh my God, look at us go. The longest part is seriously always buying all the parts. That's the thing. As soon as you've got the parts, it's just like bang, bang, bang. You're good. Everything goes on. I feel like a proper, uh, proper little mechanic. The thing that's actually really cool about this game, it actually kind of gives me confidence to actually work on my own car because I kind of understand more or less what's going on and what stuff does just based off this game, which is, are we done? Look at that. That side literally took us a minute, a minute and a half. Insane. All right, time to go for the rear. This is where things are going to get... A little bit more complicated. All right. I just replaced the springs in my car. It was good fun. I didn't die, and I would say it went well. Seriously, the thing I didn't realize... So, for those of you who didn't see the video, I recently did some upgrades to my little Volkswagen Golf, and uh, one of the things I did was brand new suspension for it. It changes the way the car feels so much, it's not even funny. It went from being, like, kind of normal Golf that was kind of meh, to be honest... And now it's like, oh damn. Changes the complete feeling of your car. Instantly. Car feels so much better. All right. That is that corner finish. Yo, that looks so sick in there with the frame and stuff. All right. Again, should be able to bang this side out. All the center stuff. I hate these parts. I hate these parts. I totally understand they make the car work, but that is done. I think we're, I think we're done. No way. No way. Global parts condition 94%. We needed two, we need two new fuel tanks. Before I forget about that, we need to put oil in the car. What else do we need? Yo, there's actually stuff that like... Okay. Yeah, we need we need fuel tanks and fuel pumps. Fuel tanks, there were two of them. I don't know why there's two fuel tanks on this car, but I'll, I'm will i not going to complain. Alright, fuel tank number one, up there. Fuel pump, up there. Brilliant, brilliant. Other side, please. Nailed it all the way through the car. Nailed it all the way through the car. Brilliant. All right, that's our fuel fitted. Do we need a battery? Yes, we do need a battery. Battery, swap that in. Thank you, thank you. Let's see how we are now. 96, 187. I need tires, obviously. We'll get to our tires. And then we need, like, our interior stuff. Okay, let's lower the car down. Before we put tires on it, let's do this interior. The game's not actually letting me into the interior right now because we don't have wheels, so... We'll start this up with wheels. What size What size wheels did we have on this? We got 285, 285, 255 in the front. Okay. They're all R16. Yeah, usually I just go and I like buy like these ones or these ones because they look cool. But now we actually need something like classic looking. These are kind of classic looking. They're rim retro rims. Okay. Four of them, 16. No offset. How do we paint our wheels? People were telling me you can paint wheels as well. Yep. Okay, ow. Can I, like, make it shiny? Like, it's metallic right now. Okay, hold on. I can't see what I'm doing. No, we'll go brightness like this. All right, so we got chrome wheels. All right, so we got to paint all our wheels exactly the same. And we're going to need white walls. This is an old classic car. Vintage tires. I like these ones. These got the most white wall. Or do we go vintage tires? Yeah, vintage tires. They look, they look the most legit. 285. You know, if these don't actually fit, like, super well, we can make them wider. I mean, it wouldn't be the most realistic thing for a car like this but it'd be okay yeah these are like the stock wheels oh look at my look at my rims my rims actually look pretty good we'll see how the poke is get okay, the 285s in the rear perfect yo the chrome looks kind of good kind of nice and i mean we'll see what the poke is Ooh, that front's pretty good i mean we could bring it out maybe 
Eh, a tiny little bit. Tires on. How is that poke in the rear? If I close up the trunk? Eh, we could bring it out a tiny bit as well, but whatever. We'll come back to that. That's that's not the priority right now. Lower it down. Let's get it into paint, and then we'll work on the interior. I need to figure out how we're going to clean the interior. I've never done that before. Boys, how do we do that? Okay, and we got to be red, obviously. Duh. I like it. Done. It's next to the dino and the paint booth. Oh, interior detailing kit. All right, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you, boys. All right, interior detailing kit. I've never done this before. How do I use? It costs $100. We'll pretend that looks clean in there. I don't actually know. Yo, that is a clean looking car. We've done real good today. All right, so what do I need? I need two seats and a steering wheel. And I think that's probably it. Yeah, two seats, a steering wheel. Steering wheel typhoon, the wooden steering wheel perfection and then for our seat i think i'm gonna toss in i think i'm gonna toss in this because it's black and it looks nice it's gonna be understated not gonna stand out it's gonna look good how does that look i think those are gonna look good and our steering wheel chuck that in yeah those seats look good real real good all right how's our status now global body condition how is our global body condition still still low how is that pot oh i need a license plate it says rear license plate front license plate no way that's it all right, so I need to go and I need to buy a license plate. We need a good one. Yo, we can get a Vermont license plate? No way. Jack says Vermont is alpha. We can go Vermont. I can deal with that. Yo, with the license plates on the Vermont in the front and the rear, boys, we are officially done our car 100% in every category that is insane all right let's just take this over uh, actually hold on before i do anything oh, what am i do what am i doing every button i need to fill this thing up with some oil please i want to take this thing over to the dyno see what type of horsepower we have in this engine and then after that i think i just want to give it bigger tires i cannot believe we actually have done something properly. Yo, it's so loud every time it does the dyno. Our engine horsepower is exactly what it was predicted. I actually did a thing today. That's the first time I've ever done that in my life. We gotta go drive it. Workshop maps, I got a brand new map. The ultimate speed test. I don't know what this track is. It's like a proper drag. Okay, it's so wise. I hate the V12 in this game. It's stupid loud. We broke the Ferrari! <laughs> Guys, it's undrivable. Guys, I think we might need some better tires because this thing is undrivable. <laughs> Guys, these tires literally have no grip. I'm just tapping the throttle going dun 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 dun. Trying to get it to be nice. 100 miles an hour, shift up to fourth. There we go, we're not spinning our wheels anymore. 150, we're going. We're going, Ferrari! I don't actually know how fast a 250LM does in real life. Well, that's gonna be 200 miles an hour. Yo, that's quick out of a car this old. God damn, 215 miles an hour. Uh, is that a wall? If that's a wall, I can't stop in that time. 221, it is a wall. 223, 220, 224 miles an hour okay this thing is actually undrivable if you try to get on the gas at all when you're not in like fifth gear look at the wheel spin jesus okay we can improve on this like those tires were good but with that much horsepower we're just gonna spin out so vintage tires they're they're cool but they just they just don't work for what we need um Let's, we, we have tire letters, so we'll go with these ones because they, they have tire letters as well. And we wanted a little bit of poke. They were 285 before. Let's go to 315. I think that'll be good. And then it was uh, R50. Yo, those don't actually have as much poke as I was thinking, but that's fine. Eagle eye viewers might recognize the wheels on the rear and on the front are a little bit different. Don't worry about that. And let's go... Go take this somewhere. Where do we want to go? Actually, let's go here. Autumn ring. I don't even know what this track is, but we'll go here. Or not. Boys, F in chat, please. Ferrari 250 LM. So much better. So much better. Oh, yo, it's still slidey. It's a bit shaky in here. You'd have a bit of a headache. 195, 200 miles an hour. 
Yeah, this is like a legit- Oh my god, the suspension is soft. Every time it turns, that little bit, it shakes like a goddamn madman. Yo, okay, I'm realizing a slight problem. Long story short, there's no front end grip and the car can't turn properly, okay? Like if I- It doesn't turn- Turning- This is- This is full turn. Here's a top tip. If you out there have a Ferrari 250 LM, upgrade both the front and the rear tires. Then you'll be doing a little bit better than I am here. How much did I spend on it? Uh, we won't get into those types of questions. I may have had to buy a school bus to get the car to work. Fully upgraded, fully fixed, worth 1.64 million credits. Well, boys, that's gonna do it for us today in Car Mechanic Simulator. If you have any other mod suggestions for us to test out and give a go on the channel, please let me know in the comments down below. That would be much appreciated.